Hey guys, this is Craymon and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege video. So the battle will be starting in about, I think, yeah, 20 seconds. And yeah, I would just like to remind you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't, because we will be doing a giveaway really soon when we hit 2,000 subs, alright? We are at 1,006 at the moment, so just another 400 and I'll do a, four, I'll do a $50 gift card to a lucky winner, alright? So let's see who we got here. There's like some delay for some reason. Not too sure what's going on. <laughs> okay, so today we're up against Land of Love and Delicious. Okay, so if you haven't known, Delicious is my ex guild. Yeah, we were from Delicious, then we formed a new guild called Goat back in 2018, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, I'm not too sure what was the drama back then. I, I wasn't really uh, involved in it. I just followed the flow, alright? <laughs> so like half of the members from Licious made this guild called GOAT. And yeah, we've been here since then. And we are up against our ex-leader, Sally, alright? Yeah, she's, in, she's a Singaporean Vietnamese. Vietnamese in Singapore. Uh yeah, we'll go through the defenses that both guilds are running here. So Land of Love, um, okay, they are running this Kumun Vigos Kogo. In the previous video, they are, they were on the yellow side, so now we will get to see the other side of their defense, right? So for the Tower Eleven, it's some LDs, like Sylvia, Ming, another Silva, Sylvia Com. Leona Taranis Bastet, alright? And a Galen Mananan Clara, so very random LD uh, tower there. And their tower 10 should be the Artamiel Tower, I remember. So yeah, S here has one. And another, yeah, five Artamiels. And yeah, it's been so long since we actually fought Delicious. I think it's been about. Honestly, I've. Never recall us fighting Licious in Siege, so I think this might be the first time. Alright, so it's gonna be very interesting. Kumo Bigos, Gogos, and Molly. Uh, for their Tower 9 here, it's a Nepotist, Clara's. Okay, Barbara. Alright, pretty sure you can just triple win that comp there. Uh, okay, this is a Narsha defense, another Nepotist. Yeah, this one is scary. Galen, Clara, Savannah, and yeah, another Galen, Clara, Savannah here. And for the Tower 10, I'm assuming it's. Oh, I was actually assuming it was LDs, but apparently it's not. It's a Busted Perna Odin Tower, alright? So, most likely we'll be only starting later on in the day, so I'll catch you guys later, alright? We'll be starting our battle here on the tower 5 on the yellow side and I saw Sally's defense there, right? So if you don't know Sally is Queen Licious, I'll be hitting her. She's my ex guild leader. And yeah, I'll be playing my new toy, the Light Chunli, Gemini, and Phrase Velk. Phrase Velk? The Wind Barbaric King, right? <laughs> so we have to armor break everyone here. Nice, we got it. And yeah, we gain the attack buff and speed and everything just cleared like that. <laughs> Easy. I really love this unit. It's so incredible. Uh, the damage is really insane, alright? And yeah, we got the first win in the back, guys. For our second fight, we'll be heading into this Artamiel defense on Land of Love's side. And yeah, we'll be heading into this one, the Atamiel, Iris, and John. Because I believe in the previous video, I fought the ones with Atamiel, Armana, Molly, and the Atamiel, Molly, Iris. So this is another different variant of the Atamiel defense with the John. We'll just uh, reset the John here, and Fire Guardian Angel is also, like I said, as long as they do not have any immunity. Uh, we will always use our Gany and Rika because it's so good against Artamiel. And yeah, whenever you have Ventilate up, just use it on Rika. It's a very straightforward one, so I'll be maybe fast forwarding this fight, alright? 
And yeah, we ventilate the Rika again and we fire Garden Angel, everything should die right here. Because yeah, they have too many dots on their side. We'll just finish off this Iris and bam, second win. Today we are not gonna screw anything up, alright? <laughs> There are two towers open up right here, and it's a Sierra Martina Shina defense. Alright, so whenever I see this, I'll bring in my own Sierra, Daphnis, and a Barbara. Hopefully, we can get the first turn, alright? We'll see. Oh. I didn't get stunned though. <laughs> so, my Daphnis will be able to snipe the Sierra off. And. Yeah, I think my Barbara can kill off this Martina if we armor break. Alright, beautiful. So even if my Sierra dies, there shouldn't be any way for this Shina to kill off my Barbara. Right? So we get additional proc. Oh, another one. Fast link and it's dead. Alright, so we got slightly lucky here. We Our Daphnis didn't get stunned. We will be hitting this Kumon Beta and Barbara defense. So whenever I see this kind of comp, I'll bring in my Bovok, Emilia and Skogol. It's really, really safe, alright? I've never lost before. Uh, this is because Beta will always be giving your uh, Bovert 5 stacks whenever she uses the third skill, the immunity and the anti-crit buff, right? And Kumun and Emilia basically giving your Bovert 1 stack every time they move as well. So you'll be always getting heals on your team and Skogul doing the damage. So yeah, just the additional proc into the rock, we already dismounted that Barbara. The HP is really low. <laughs> So yeah, I, I think the runes is me, eh, right? So okay, we'll just continue working on this Kumon here because the beta has the shield up. And yeah, we'll just try to poke on that Barbara. It's a good counter. Can we freeze? Nope. Yeah, just continue working on it. <coughs> so next turn, my Skogu has the rock up. Yeah, Emilia's freeze is not working today <laughs> for some reason. But doesn't matter, we'll bring the Kumun HP to less than quarter. Whenever our Skogu throws a rock and Beta doesn't heal in time, we should be able to clean the map. Oh, that's a good additional prop as well. So yeah, four wins. This tower 12 will be open here and it's a Martina Shina Chiana defense. A good counter to it is the Aegir, Elusia Second Awakening and a Triana or Huadem if you have, alright? So, I mean, I do have Huadem but I'll try it with Triana. Uh, first of all, we have to kill off that Martina as soon as possible, alright? Okay, they got the stun on my Triana. I think we'll try to heal our Elusia up a little bit because we can't do anything. There's immunity all on their side, we have to steal that sh the, the Martina, alright? Okay, we got it. Additional prop by that Shina, shit. <laughs> and yeah, Triana is already dead. Oh no, this is not good. Ooh. Okay, we have to slip something here. I think Shina? Yeah? I really want to heal, but the Shina will be moving really soon. And okay, we got additional prop. We have to kill off this Martina here. I believe we can. Okay, good. We get almost full attack bar as well. Oh my god, the stun. The stun on my water unit. <laughs> so triggering. And yeah, this China is getting a lot of additional props for some reason. Okay, can we freeze? That's good. Additional prop again. Ugh. I think this China already has the passive up. We didn't get to steal it, but yeah, we'll try to heal our Aegir up. Okay, yep, I think, I think we hit the Shina here, we pop the passive and yeah, I think a normal attack should be able to finish off this Shina and 2v, 2v1, I believe my Aegir can sustain against that Triana because the damage is pretty low, right? So let's see, just, just about... 2008 damage and uh, I don't think she'll be able to kill off my Aegir It might take some time, but we should be winning this, alright? Okay, additional proc Okay, we raffle, raffle attack 
Doesn't matter, we didn't get to sleep. Push back the attack bar. Alright. This Triana will be going down real soon. Uh-huh, can you just die? <laughs> okay. Confiscate didn't get the attack uh, bar reduction, but it's fine. No crits. <laughs> okay, we put the sleep. And doesn't matter, our Ego will finish her off. And yeah. Five wins in a row, guys. We will not lose today. <laughs> from here on out, it's free for all for my guild members to hit. And yeah, we'll go into this Ophelia, Chow, and Retash defense. This is the inner defense of Delicious Side, alright? So whenever I see this kind of calm, they do not have any you mean uh, they do not have any strippers, alright? So Feng Yan Velajo is really good here. And Mihail is here to heal up the team, including the uh, defense buff that she provides. You could also run in an Emma, the Water Neilstone Agent. So yeah, either two of those units will be very good here. And we'll work on this retash. So okay, we got the armor break on him. How much damage do we do on punishment? About 21,000. And it's not on a crit damage build. So that's very good stuff from Belladrill, right? <coughs> and one thing to note, um, the opponent's units are scaling off the damage on their HP. And my thing in is on destroy runes. So over time, their damage will be significantly lower. And yeah, we'll be definitely able to win this comm. Just that the Ophelia is a little bit annoying, right? So since she's armor broken here, we'll work on her. Okay, we remove the threat state up. Okay, we'll work on this Ophelia. That's a good prop. Um, yeah, we'll just continue poking her. We reset the retest so that there's no heals. And my Velajo should be able to finish off this Ophelia. And from here on out, it's gonna be downhill for their side. Because there's no more shields and yeah, invincibility buff and whatnot, right? The the things that she provide. And yeah, 1v3 against this Chow. There shouldn't be any way for him to kill off my team. Even if he kills off my Velajol and Mihail, my Fingyan should be able to solo it, okay? Because yeah, as you can see I'm destroying a little bit of his HP already. And it's already on last hit, we'll just reset. So that he doesn't have the justice and yeah, Feng Yan finishes him off. So this will be a 6 win out of 6. <laughs> we'll be hitting this Artamel tower again. And yeah, I'll hit into this Artamel, Molly and Iris. Because there's not much tower left and we still have so many swords. And personally, I want to finish off my 10 hits, alright? So we'll hit into this with my Molong, Icarus and Harmonia. So first of all, we want to snipe off this Iris away. Yep, we Reckless Assault. And I think my Icarus follows through. Yep, Duck Recovery and bam, 2v3. Uh, yeah, it's mainly because I do not like Iris because of the AoE stuns that she gives. And also the 2 turn silence sometimes is really huge if she puts it on my Harmonia, right? Even though my Harmonia is 100% resistance, but yeah, you know, Iris doing Iris things, you know? <laughs> and yeah, we'll wake up the I Icarus here. And whenever we have the chance, we'll try to armor break this Artamiel. Alright. Okay. Can we armor break it? Okay, good. So whenever we put the armor break on the Artamiel, he's gonna hit like a wet noodle, as you can see. Just about 2 to 3k damage. <laughs> okay, we didn't get... We got the stun on ourselves, not on them. Doesn't matter, we'll wake up the Molong here. Can we armor break? Because our skills are back online, but the synergy is not good because of the attack bar, right? So I think here we'll just hold on to our skills. And yeah, we unwanted harmony this Molly. I think it's at 70%, we should be able to snipe it off. Yep. And yeah, 1v3 against the Artamil, there, sh there shouldn't be any way for him to kill off my team. B 
because it's not on destroy as well. So yeah, we'll just rig up the Molong here because Molong's damage is more consistent than Icarus. I believe Icarus nuke will only deal about 40 to 50% of the Artamil's HP. So yeah, we get additional turns and yeah, Reckless Assault. Seven wins in a row, guys. <laughs> we are down to our last three swords, and yeah, we'll hit this Sierra Martina Shina again. Uh, this time, I'll bring in a Shield Wilcom, my Galian, Poseidon, and a Figaro, okay? So, this is the Light Joker. So, yeah, Figaro has the passive to like block some damage and stuff like that. It's just to tank up. The Martina and Shina, right? Uh, okay, but doesn't matter. Uh, can we resist the damage from this bomb? Okay, nope. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. We get to armor break here. Poseidon, you have to kill everything. Please. Okay, that's good. Push the attack bar down. And yeah, Poseidon finishes the Sierra off. Really easy. We are en route to getting our 10 out of 10 wins against our ex guild. So yeah, we are heading into this busted Perna and Odin. We'll play it very safe with our Tessarian Perna and Grogo. Uh, yeah, we'll have to go in fast because all my guildmates are trying to hit as well. There's really not much towers left and the timer is ticking down. Uh, I think this will probably be like the last three or four towers to hit before the siege ends, alright? So let's see who Perna hits. Woo. Thank god there's no prop. We have to armor break and land the oblivion. Beautiful. One shot. Alright, so whenever Tassarion lands his stuff, we will be able to win. Okay, we oblivion the Odin here. So he doesn't get the stacks. And yeah, we'll just continue poking on him because of the shield, flame nova, through the glancing crit. All right, that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll continue working on this o Odin, I believe. I think we have to armor break here. Okay, good. We got it and boom, 1v3 against the bastard. There's no way for her to kill off my team. And yeah, we just need one more win for the 10 in a row, guys. Pretty excited. <laughs> Especially against our X guild, right? So yeah. We'll just press the auto button and Bastet dies here. And I'll see you in the next fight. For our last fight, we'll be heading into this tower 12. It's the Kumon Vigo Skogol. And we'll be trying to steal this tower away from Land of Love. Because I believe they've already used up all their swords, alright? So yeah, we'll finish it with our signature bomber comb, alright? <laughs> the Malaka, Sien, and Chasun. So we'll heal up with the Amuse. Hopefully this Gogol skip uh, cuts my two bombers, alright? Yeah, we'll follow Blossoms first. Ah, we didn't get it. I think we have the normal attack. Okay, now we place the bomb. Okay, we got it. And yeah, Sien, please land on anyone. Oh my god, wait, the Kumon resisted. Ah, uh, okay, now mind, we heal up, we heal up. I think we should still be. Uh, additional prop. Okay, we have to turn cycle until our bombs come back online. <laughs> uh, one more turn, two more turns, I mean. I believe we can sustain if they if the if the Kumun doesn't crit us. All right, Malaka, can you place the bomb? Okay, good. Sien, please land. <laughs> Ten wins, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go. And yeah, the siege battle has ended already, and we got about three hundred thirty crystals followed by three hundred fifty three guild points. And we'll be heading over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight in the Siege Battle page. Okay, so yeah, this is the end of that fight. 
Uh, it looks pretty one-sided, mainly because Delicious and Land of Love were fighting out against each other most of the time for the second place. So yeah, Licious came out ahead of that. We'll head over to open the rubbish box. There's one more shiny, right? Can we get it? Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We'll wait for next week then. Sell that rune and we'll wrap things up for this video. Please remember to like this and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cray SW, alright guys? So I'll be doing one more video over the weekend. It's mainly for the creator content content creator contest for week two. So yeah, please stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next video guys stay safe and have a great weekend peace